In our initial Affinity testing, one of our favorite games to play was actually Left 4 Dead. So it only made sense that we would try Left 4 Dead 2 out with the new uh, NVIDIA surround system. And uh, it's available up to resolution 5760 by 1080. And uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, a single player mission here. And you'll see, uh, you know, obviously some of the load screens aren't formatted correctly, so they are stretched to uh, a degree that they wouldn't normally otherwise be. And your loading screen is all the way in the far right-hand corner. And then the notice of what's going on is all the way in the left-hand corner. Those are all things that hopefully developers will be able to address in the future with future titles and that kind of thing. So here we'll, we'll load up the mission. All right. So you can see with the three monitors, you do have uh, access to a lot more screen real estate, as you would expect. And this game actually does work quite well in 3D mode with the 3D vision surround. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And uh, the original Left 4 Dead was also one of our favorite games to showcase 3D vision before all the, the, you know, the surround monitor stuff actually even came into being. Um, and that continues to be the case here with Left 4 Dead 2. It looks very good. And uh, it's, Left 4 Dead 2 is significantly more strenuous on computers than... Left 4 Dead 1, uh, but our pair of GeForce GTX Fermi cards doesn't seem to have any problem really keeping up. I think uh, they, they recommend, NVIDIA recommends a resolution of 4800 by 900 when in 3D mode uh, versus the 5760 by 1080. So something to keep in mind there.